Now, the confrontation has been unfolding not only on the ground, but in the media as well. And what appears to be a massive campaign of disinformation, we're seeing some very dubious reporting. Artis Yegor Piskorov now joining us live in the studio. Well, 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 disinformation all around the block. We're seeing it everywhere. What have you been seeing? Well, we found some interesting stuff since uh, Ukrainian media is just flooded with all sorts of controversial reports related to Russia. And information is often being shared and reposted, even though some of it is not either uh, complete or a hoax altogether. Just, some of it's just fake, isn't it? Yeah, For on. instance, uh, this picture was published by several media outlets and it shows alleged empty shelves in a grocery store in Crimea, but the price tag is in U.S. dollars. That's in dollars. Turns out that this picture was taken in a grocery store, but in New York, <laughs> as it was getting rid of uh, expired uh, products. Now, mm. this picture of alleged Crimean uh, refugees... Looks very familiar. Well, I mean, well, this, they do seem like uh, refugees, but the same picture was used by another Ukrainian media outlet mm -hmm. earlier doing a report on Syrian Syria. refugees, 700,000 there. Uh, but my personal favorite mm -hmm. is... This one. This is a story about Identification. An, an alleged Russian spy uh, caught red-headed in Ukraine. And this ID is sort of like the main proof presented by the media. It has lots of grammar mistakes. It's in Russian, but the, the best thing is that here it says occupation and just says spy. What, is it, what does it say in Russian? What's Razvichik. the word? Razvichik is spy, so that's not very discreet. So would a real spy. spy have an ID that says spy on it? <laughs> well, not a very good spy, I think. It's pathetic. But uh, also I found an interesting video of a Ukrainian TV station uh, preparing to do a live report from an alleged pro-Maidan, pro-Western rally in Crimea. Here's the reporter, and it seems uh, from in their frame there's a lot of people around uh, the journalists, but then the camera pans to the right there, and you can see there's only like 10, 15 people there. Plus later, this man uh, also is in vision, and he appears to be directing the crowd either to make some noise or to keep quiet. So this again raises questions about how correct this information is. So there's yeah. tons of it out there, but surely facts have to be checked. You almost feel sorry for the viewer who's watching this on Ukrainian networks or, or, or otherwise, and they're just being fed clear disinformation by the powers that be. It, it, it should be shameful what they've done here. Especially this one. Yeah, you know, the spy. That's because you, <laughs> you want that one, don't you? You like that, yeah, God. I like it, yeah. Thanks for bringing that into the studio. Good to see you.